browsing wistful in Salvation Army, seeking that which cannot be purchased. She wanders to the curtains. Kitchen's cold this winter, those lacy scraps that guard the door inadequate. Oh my, she whispers, stroking familiarity slouched over a metal hanger. Human-sized, in dimension and boldness, wide and colorful Rousseau-esque flowers set to dazzle against pale linen. She sees two matching chairs in this exact pattern, morning sun slanting playful across their cheeriness. No memory of where she bought them undoubtedly new to brighten a single mom's living room. Christine, too, is their neighbor, ancient daughter of Mississippi tenement farmers, bowed by years of work, sun deficiency. Oh, my, the older woman sighs, caressing a chair. I remember this, my favorite pattern in the factory, how I love to sew up curtains made of this same fabric. The same one really takes me back. Oh, my, murmurs the younger woman. Twenty years into the future, Christine chairs house country not gone, just misplaced. Nothing is ever truly lost, she decides, but hidden somewhere safe, refindable within the unexpected. 